Selby, South Dakota to install a spread sense system. Uh, we're partnering up with the CHS co-op down there and we're going to go install it on a case spreader. Uh, this product, is, it's been out for about three years now. Um, super simple product. Uh, it's a blockage monitor for the floaters. So I would have done this a little bit sooner in the morning, but if you look out there, it was like twice as bad earlier. Just split pea soup out there. Anyway, back to the install. You know, for this install, there really aren't very many tools. I'll show you how many tools I even brought. So if you saw back there, I had like two socket sets uh, and then a couple of small hand tools. It doesn't take much to install this system. The most important thing is uh, make sure you clean up the back of those deflectors and make sure you push down hard when you put down your sensor because uh, it's a it's a pressure sensitive adhesive. Uh, you really need to put about 15 psi on the whole thing so that it really activates the adhesive. Anyway, uh, the hope would be that we get to get out and do some spreading this afternoon. So I'm really excited for these guys to get their new system, get it on, and, and I think we'll have a fun day here. Okay, I'm out here at CHS in Selby. Uh, I've got my partner here, Peyton. We're going to be cleaning this up and installing the system. Peyton's already been starting to clean up each of the deflectors with some brake cleaner, uh, getting them real clean. If you get that, get the dirt off, it makes them adhere so much better. Uh, the biggest complaint we get about the system is that if you ever want to take the sensors off, you got to take them off with a chisel if you clean them up well. So anyway, we're going to get to work here and hopefully enjoy the progress. Now it's pretty simple on how to put this on there. You just take off this VHB uh, backing for the VHB tape. Uh, and then you center it best you can on the sensor and you stick her down and make sure you push down hard on that thing because otherwise it's not going to stick and stick it on your deflector center it up as best you can and give it a hard push to activate that pressure sensitive adhesive PSA all right now you can watch me put the rest of them on. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the hoses on. Uh, really easy to do. You just take it, take these big thick hoses here and stick them right on to the sensor. Slide it down. And the important thing to remember here is that you don't need to get it all the way right up to the to the stem. So. Just get it on there far enough, probably a half inch. You know, that'll be plenty enough. All the sensors are on this, this side of the boom. Got all the hoses on there. And so now it is time to start putting on some ECUs. One tip for you here is to align all the ECUs in uh, numerical order by their serial number. Now the reason you do that is so when you open up your iPad and it puts them in a list, it lists them by their serial number uh, from the lowest to the highest, and then it inputs them left to right. So it just saves you a little bit of time on your setup, and so as long as I can do numbers, you know, we've got 3808, 3836, so on and so forth. And so you can see where the serial number is, right there. I've got the first DCU on right here. Looks just like that. Hose clamps around it like that. Uh, I'm gonna tie up these hoses a little bit better. You really don't have to worry about kinking these hoses if you put a zip tie on them, so we'll do that. We'll have to watch as we come through some of these pinch points here. I might have to just watch it fold up to see where we zip tie those down. We'll drop another ECU about right in here uh, and another one right over here. One spot that I did notice that if I had it to do over again, I would do this one a little bit differently. Uh, I would probably tilt this thing to the side a little bit Get a little close here, it won't be the worst thing. Um, I was driving more for consistency at the time until I noticed that. These thicker hoses, you'll notice, are a little bit tougher to bend, so. Anyway, overall things are going pretty well. We are all of about maybe 45 minutes into this. Peyton has the whole other side done as far as uh, putting the sensors on. Next we'll be putting the hoses on for him and then you know, hooking up the ECUs as we go here. And then it'll just be zip tying it down. We 
we've got all the sensors on we've got all the ecus on on this side of the boom anyway uh i've got just the wires draped right now i kind of want to watch where our pinch points are here before i really zip tie everything down um but as you can see everything's routed up there you know just it doesn't have to be like i said it doesn't have to be all the way up against there this is going to seal up just fine once that gets warm it's going to be really good there so uh, on to the next side. It's about 10 o'clock So it's taken me a little over an hour to get to that point. So should pretty easily finish up by by dinner time here So the next things to do will be to put the antenna on which I have mounted up there uh, And then also the gateway and so both of those Are gonna live right here that's the antenna right there, and I'm going to mount the gateway back in there a little ways. Uh, Peyton was just hooking up the cab stuff. About 11 o'clock, hopefully about another half hour and we should be all done. All right, we got the whole thing in. It's all folded up. You can see we worked through a bunch of different pinch points. Definitely took a little longer than we thought it would, but hey, it's all together. It's about 2 o'clock here. We're going to head out to the field and uh, start running. What a beautiful spring day it is out here. About to get her folded down. All right, maiden voyage coming down right now. Fold it down, all ready to go. Just waiting on the tender truck. Now with what you're putting down, do they need to dig this into the ground? This uh, this stuff? No, it'll just kind of melt with the rain and stuff. Okay. Like I know when we used to do like granules and stuff like that, we needed to dig that, that in within a couple of hours. Yeah. So now you can see the uh, on the top there, there's a number. That's your mass flow number. So as you go through variable rates, that's going to start to change. Oh, okay, so that's the 549 or whatever. Yep. Right, so we're going 549. You're pretty steady at about 550. Okay. So if you're doing one rate the whole time here, you would probably take and you'd set yourself an alarm around that. Yep. So you can change. So what, what do you think our rate is right now? Uh, 160, 150 acre right now. Okay, so you're at your, kind of your low end. Yeah. So I'm going to just change your flow threshold here. You can hold it on, make sure you shut the truck. It's a 500. That way, when you drop below 500 there, it's going to at least show up red. Yep. And it should give you an audio alarm too. Let me double check that. It was chirping at me when I turned it off earlier. Really, so. Yep. Yeah, so okay. that is on. And Yep. Sure enough. So every time I turn it off, it's going to beep at me. Uh, so what's going to happen is when you make a turn, yep. Um, what we what we should do is we'll set your your delay. So your delay is at 15 seconds. So uh, you shouldn't hear it. What's going to happen is right now, you know, you got your flow at zero. Yep. When enough of your runs go blocked, it will. Um, it'll detect that your runs are blocked and it'll show them as not flowing but it won't alarm you okay so we just have to play around with the um, with the time so it doesn't annoy you all right i'm just at the gas station filling up here before i head out uh what a great day we uh we got it installed pretty quickly got out to the field a little early season spreading you know, I think this is really going to cut down on their crop claims. You know, we have farmers around us that they won't even put the, they won't even put a spreader in their field without having this system on there. So, uh, really going to give them peace of mind that when they're spreading, they know that they're actually spreading every deflector. So, anyway, if you have questions about this, uh, want to get one on your system, 
give us a call you want to get it installed we'll do all that so anyway hope you enjoyed the video god bless and have a great day